All right, so a, uh, another new feature that uh, is privy only to Xcode 7 is being able to specify a custom class for your SK Sprite node. So let's get rid of our reference. We don't really need that guy anymore. And then what we're going to do is go over here and give it a custom class of, oh, I don't know, uh, how about Soldier? That way we can at least keep that name uh, player in there. And uh, then what we'll do is go to uh, file, new file, and this is gonna be just a good old Swift file. So you're gonna put in here soldier, the name that you just provided in the custom class. Be sure this is checked off. Create that. And then inside this class, uh, we wanna be sure that we import in Sprite Kit. And then you're gonna write class, and then just repeat back the name of the class right here. And then we're gonna specify this is gonna be a, SK, a subclass of SK Sprite Node, so it's got all the same functionality as an SK Sprite Node, but with anything else that we wanna put in here. So for example, we might write a variable that is um, ammo, right? And this is an integer, it equals uh, zero for right now, but we could then set this to uh, something else in our uh, game scene uh, dot swift file. Let me get this uh, reference out of the way for right now. It's going to bother me if it's still there. And all right, so that uh, that changes things slightly with our uh, setup here because no longer is our player going to be an SK sprite node. It's actually going to be our soldier class, right? So go ahead and put that over there and then let's get rid of this line. So we're going to put in here soldier self dot child node with name player as soldier and then uh, da -da -da, let's see we could leave that in there but let's go ahead and set this and then let's also make that some soldier some soldier okay now here's the really cool thing inside of here because we're we're, we're setting up some soldier as a soldier class if I write dot and then ammo, look, you're already gonna see that property in there. So I might start them off at zero in the class file, but then as soon as you know I iterate through here, I've, I'm setting his ammo up to 100. So what we might do here is find child by name. Uh, that could be something a little bit more specific, like find yep soldier by name and uh, equip. Okay, and you know what, to make this even cooler, what we could do is then specify how much we're gonna equip with. So uh, we'll put in here a variable called amount. We're gonna specify that this is gonna be an integer. So then we replace 100 with the amount that we're gonna pass in. Let me just put in here amount 100. And of course, we'd probably wanna be able to know for sure that we uh, gave them that much ammo. So let's put in here some soldier dot ammo and Let's see what happens. Build succeeded, that's always a great sign. And let's look over here. Sure enough, we're seeing 100, and that also implies that all of these things kind of pass their little checks here. It is actually a soldier in there. And let's go over here to our um, scene file, and then let's take out the custom class of soldier and just see what happens. Okay, it's a good sign that we didn't crash. Uh, you know, we're, we're seeing basically an SK sprite node with uh, those animated textures, but this is not actually our soldier class right here. And you'll notice that we didn't print out the amount of ammo because when we iterated through this, um, we just, we didn't find a soldier, okay? Uh, well, we did though find something with that name, right? So let's go and let's say found, um, node with and you know what if you want to print out the actual variable what you could do is put in here the name and you do that by a backslash and then in parentheses the variable uh, but you can put in here else class and 
Well, let's keep an eye on the output window. Should say found node with player. Not the name it should read, but player was not of the soldier class. All right, so how cool is that? That's a nice little safety check to make sure that uh, you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, I actually think that that's probably enough for one video and uh, it's a nice short one but uh, there's there's a lot to absorb in here and here you can take a look at the code one more time hopefully get it all within your eye line at once even with all those trailing brackets back there and I'll see you in the next video